Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here. And before I even start the video, I want to say huge shout out to the dude who goes by Unite. Um, I'm going to link his Twitter and this document down in the description because this is really cool. And this is something I think I could really talk about and a lot of you probably care or agree about. Anyway, um, yeah, so huge shout out to him because this is a 15 page Google document about um, Roblox sales. This dude, he really has something. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over um, the entire thing here. Uh, so the top part over here basically tells you guys who he is and um, basically he, he's basically telling you um, what he's done on Roblox, which I guess gives you like a little bit of a background on who he is and why he's going to be talking like this, like he's knowledgeable because he is really knowledgeable, I guess. I, I, I don't know how to... I don't know how I'm explaining it, but he's basically just saying all his qualifications, which is cool. I, I respect the stuff he's done. Like, he's been playing for eight years, so he already knows what... He, he knows the veteran life. Um, he has uh, a lot of stuff on the dev forums. He's decently known as a developer. Or not even decently. He's well known as a developer. Um, he's worked on the Egg Hunt 2018. Like, he's, he's generally just made a name for himself in the developer community. Um, anyway, so the next part over here explains what Roblox sales are, and, um, basically talked about how he's going to be dividing this up and all that. So, let's get straight into it, guys. Um, the first thing he talks about is what doesn't work with the new, with the current Roblox sales. And all of them, I agree 100% with. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. For the most part, I skimmed through this, but I did read a full, a, a few parts fully through. So, if I just take a pause for a second, it's probably because I'm just trying to, completely understand everything so I don't sound like a moron um, but like I said I'm gonna be linking this in case I go too fast or too slow um, first up though items the items are the exact same I 100% agree with this the items always are the exact same they always come like everybody knows silver thorn antlers are in every sale everybody knows work clocks wings antlers always come every single sale it's so predictable it's so boring as I was saying that uh, that I got a phone call so literally I just had to cut all of that so basically like I was saying though it, it's just everybody is they just know these are coming and it's one of the main reasons I kind of dislike um, sales at this point it's just so boring and everybody knows exactly what's coming anyway aside from maybe one or two items so, whoa dude it's, it's like not worth it in my opinion um, next up though the teasers and the advertising um, in 2013 he's like he cited his evidence and everything in 2013 one of these three items will become limited, and they give you three. You basically guessed. They give you three. They let you guess. They give you four, and they let you guess two. And it's just like, it's kind of cool because like, it adds an element of hey, do you guys think this is gonna, what? What do you think is gonna go limited? And this really complemented the forum system, um, because you got to go on the forums and just talk about what you guys think is going to be um, limited, and everybody on the forums would like have different opinions and all that, and it was really cool. Next up, though, um, apparently the Twitter tweets about it, but half an hour after, and I don't really, I don't really pay attention to their Twitter too much, which is probably why I didn't really notice it. But yeah, they do tweet it way too late. Um, next up, waves. The waves are really weak right now, is basically what he's saying. Um, you get a garbage item every one, two, three, four, five hours, and then. Like, at a time when nobody really expects it, they drop something cool, and then it's back to boring, 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 boring. Just, like, it's pointless. It's just really dumb. This section, I didn't completely understand. I think he's talking about retextures and trying to revive the retexture community. Uh, because down here, he's talking about reviving retextures and all that. And I think that's what he meant by premium items. Yeah, uh, these items would be more elusive than others. Um, so I'm assuming he would mean, like, if you guys remember that Dominus that was leaked in, like, 2016, um, on the RBX leaks, or it was 2017, it was one of the two, or maybe earlier, th I don't know, I don't remember, I don't pay attention to the time, but it was this, like, t Dominus, like, for example, that could be, like, super rare or whatever, they could drop it, and it would be a premium item. Um, next up, fun value. It's not, the sales aren't fun anymore, I'm gonna be honest. It's really, really boring. It's not very fun at all. But he talks about what will work. Um, he talks about bringing back more classic items instead of just the regular ones. Like, instead of bringing back the same four or five items, he's talking about bringing back cool stuff. Like, if you guys remember ASCII White, 
uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but here, I'll give you guys a picture. Um, this item. Uh, a lot of people want this to come back, and they refuse to bring it back. Um, yeah, they want, like, he wants a surprise, and I can agree with that. A surprise is better than just a bunch of garbage. Um, next up, there are 12,000 items in the catalog, and half of them aren't even on sale or limited. And you know what? He's right. He's 100% right. Please, Roblox, do something about the 6,000 items that no one can obtain. It's really dumb. Um, anyway, next up, um, C isn't really that relevant. It's just talking about unused items and, you know, basically explaining that, you know, unused items can be brought back and all that. And I, I don't know. I'm just dumb. Advertising. Yeah, I agree. Like, like we already talked about, tweets are way too late. Waves. Um, he's talking about waves. Uh, he made a tweet asking people, um, do you guys think that if they told you when the waves are going to happen, would you prefer that? And I mean, literally, I agree 100%. I made a sarcastic reply saying that the surprise is totally much better. And since then, I deleted it because I was like, that, I mean, it wasn't really obvious that I was being sarcastic, but it's whatever. Um, anyway, I agree. Please, at least tell us when things are going to happen. That way people expect it. Um, regarding waves, having a, having a wave an hour with five items would be much better than getting your hopes up. Every yeah, I agree with that, like I said. And um, he already has, like, if you scroll down, he has a timetable of just an example of what they could do. But we're, we're going to get to that. But he referred to it, so I figured I'd show you guys. Um, next up, instead of a classic wave, just one wave. Just scatter the classics, like he said right here. Just put them all... Like, every hour or two, just put one classic item back for maybe, like, half an hour or something. And that would be really cool. I mean, hey, you got my money if you do that. Like, literally, I will probably spend money buying Robux. Like, I'll, I'll literally buy it from the Roblox website. I'll just buy, like, 35,000 Robux for $200 because it's all about that uh, clean, legit Roblox, Robux life, you feel? Um, anyway, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know what I was saying with that, but next up, premium items, um, bring back retextures, I agree, retextures are awesome, I miss them, um, nowadays all you get are recolors, not even retextures, and they're not even by the community, they're just by, you know, the corporation, Roblox, and they're not really that good, I'm gonna be honest, um, okay, so, before I even continue with this, I want to talk about something else, aside from this, because it, Retextures reminded me of this. Roblox allows you to upload your own meshes now, meaning that why don't people make their own hats? Like, you know, make your hats like models. And then Roblox can kind of like say, hey, um, our players created this and this item. Um, and then you have uh, people pick like on Twitter or the blog or something. They vote which one they want added to Roblox um, and all that. And I think that's really cool because like, I feel like if you do something like that, it would be a really, really cool thing, and I mean, hey, you'll you'll probably make the person who created it, like, you'll make them really happy, and you'll make their day, and I mean, hey, you can always brag, hey, we have this many items created by the community, and I mean, that's something I, I think Roblox would be happy to brag about, um, knowing Roblox. Next up, though, um, he's talking about with limited, what would be more ideal, are older items going limited than newer items? I agree. Um... There, okay, uh, I had an I had like four items on Isotoxic with less than a hundred sales, and then they went off sale, and they're still not limited to this day. Okay. Anyway, since I keep getting interrupted, I completely lose my spot. I think I was talking about how many um, rare items I had on Isotoxic. I had four items with less than a hundred owners, and they're off sale. They're not limited, and it's kind of crazy um, when you think about it. But Next up, he talks about the fun value. Again, um, it, it would make it a lot more fun, and I agree with uh, that point. Next up, he talks about sale polls. Um, what is your opinion about the recent sales? Dislike. How do you feel about um, Roblox releasing 1 to, one to 3 sale deals um, compared to 10 plus a few years ago? Dislike. How do you feel about Roblox including the same items in a sale every time? Dislike. Like, everybody, like, I mean, this is all just things we could all agree about um i don't see why not um like I, I don't know um anyway so this one's actually kind of surprising um 
people liked oh wait it's nine voters that's why never mind um i was about to say why would so many people like um the sale that just happened they were it was a horrible sale and um nine people voted and that's probably why because i mean odds are those are the people who owned the beast mode anyway next up he made a timetable like as a sample so people could see um l means limited o means normal i believe right yeah o means on sale basically this is an example bunny ears would be on sale for a thousand two things would go limited like two rare items next up like i i don't want to explain it but Basically, like, you know, the Domino Snowman, I would love to have that. That's a pretty cool hat, um, and he wants to go limited. Uh, basically, like, he just, like, I'm not going to go through all this. Like I said, I'm going to put it in the description, but you can see, like, all of these items are, I, I like, they're just cool items, and, I mean, yeah, they should really all go the same way that he was talking about. Um, and then next up, after all of this, the Deuce Car Limited. Oh, boy. That would be one expensive limited. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, then he puts a little uh, thing here. Like, this was a competition item, but other competition items have gone limited. SC2 White or ASCII White, whatever it's called, has gone on sale in the past. And he would love to have it go back on sale or limited. And I agree. Um, limited eggs haven't happened recently, and he wants them to happen. I agree. Eggs should go limited. Eggs are pretty cool. <laughs> I love eggs. Um, not in real life though. I hate eggs in real life. I love eggs on Roblox though. Um, a Rainbow Sparkle Time Fedora would be awesome. I agree. I love, love, and like I love the Rainbow Sparkle Time idea because it just, it, it's a good way to close the Sparkle Time series because we already have every color for the most part. Um, now you get to like put them all together in one, and it would be just an awesome way. Like if you guys remember the Rainbow Katana, the Rainbow Sparkle Time would be like that. It wasn't that rainbow katana, it was the epic katana when you got all of them, and it was like basically like you had all of them and it would look like a rainbow in your um, your thing. I, I, I am horrible at explaining, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, I'm just saying that would be cool. It would be like a good way to close the Sparkle Time series. Um, next up, Epic Face would be awesome to go limited or on sale, but now that they can do it, they can do it, so please do it. Um, and then this is an original retexture. And he puts a link here, and this is a really sick hat, so please go limited. Or please go on sale, or please be an item, whatever. Um, and then he makes a conclusion talking about how sales are horrible, everybody likes it, and, or um, sales are horrible, and everybody wants to like it, and, you know, he's just trying to give suggestions to improve it. Um, but all in all, I think, there was, I think this was a really, really good post, and I think it's really important. So like I said, I'm going to be linking this in the description if you guys want to read it yourselves. Um, yeah, uh, basically, I disagree with a lot of things he said. I don't, I don't think I have anything I could disagree with at all. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.